you guys. Hello, hello. I'll say hi, good morning. Hi, hi. Um, so we are dropping Land off at school this morning. Woo. It is Tuesday. He has picture day today. How are you gonna smile for pictures? <laughs> so handsome. He has picture day today. I, I have, have to go get my blood work yeah. done this morning. And then I am going to later of an ultrasound so in my ultrasound later it's like at four o'clock so that should be fun um i'm gonna get my blood work done right after drop lane off at school um, i don't really know what we're gonna be doing today i left my house kind of in shambles so i really need to go back and clean that up i think i'm gonna try to go to trader joe's later today too either before or after my doctor's appointment um because i need fruit again um i've been having Super bad back pain. Oh my god, I'm having like a bad back spasm. Oof. Am I in labor? Um, I've been having. I'm having. Oh, that was done. I've been having like these really bad back spasms and like lower back pain. Actually, the other night I thought I was in labor. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was in so much pain. And then I had like this random urge to go to the bathroom. And I was like, oh my god, this is it. Like, I am gonna like go into labor. But I ended up not being able to go to the bathroom. So I don't know if it was like, it was weird. But I've been having a lot more contractions. And. I just had like a really, that was probably the worst back spasm I've had so far. Um, but anyways, my car is really loud right now because I've got two kids in it, but I'm going to get blood work done, go to the doctors later. I have to clean up my house. We're having a baby in nine days. Like, I don't know when you guys are going to watch this video, but we're having a baby so soon. Annoyed. So Javine got my blood work done. And of course, I swear every single time I come to get my blood work done, it's missing one of the orders. So last week when I was here, they were missing the... No, last week I got all three done because I had a new urine, like, order. But the week prior, they were missing my urine. And it's always been like an issue where it's like, either my orders aren't in or whatever. This week, my urine isn't in, even though I just had it last week with the standing order and the paperwork and I put it in, but apparently just blood is in today. So, I'm super annoyed because it's like, I was sitting there and she's like, well, we can just take it and hold it. You can call the hospital. I'm like, I'm not even going to do all that at this point. And I was like telling her, I was like, I don't even, I'm not even trying to be rude to you at this point. It's just the fact of, it's someone's like not doing their job right that i'm always missing something like that shouldn't be a thing like there should be two standing orders like i show it on my end that i have standing orders and on your end it's showing up that there's no standing order for the urine now and it, it's just wasting my time and it's just annoying because like i feel i can just get these tests done at the hospital like they just did my tests on Friday at the hospital. I tried to do my labs, the urine's not in, and I'm not playing this game. Like, I'm not, I'm just not gonna keep going because, like, I can't keep playing this game. Like, I can't be sitting at a hospital. Like, I'm constantly going back and forth between getting my blood work done, going to the maternal fetal medicine twice a week for ultrasounds, going to my normal OB appointments, like, I'm just over it. Like, it's just a lot on me, and it's just, like, it's draining her. We're going to go home now. You ready to go home? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> and then I have, I have, like, the worst migraine, too, so. What? You don't feel the air? You should feel it. We are home now. I'm actually going to. Asher needs to put these stuffed animals back in the house. Yeah, I'm gonna put the baby car seat actually back inside. I took it out. Okay, if you're gonna put a baby, it needs to go inside your seat. So that way, 
Want to keep one in brother's seat? Uh, yeah. Just Thank one, you. but everything else needs to go inside. Yeah. Hey, Ben, don't know how to go inside. Yeah. Yeah, I need to put the baby car seat back in there. Um, cause I took it out like a couple weeks ago. I had it in here and I took out the base because I needed to fit Landon's like school friend because to bring him to school. And I needed a third seat in there. But we're going to quickly put in this car seat. crazy to me that we're gonna have three babies it's like I end up going with the Diono for like uh, Asher's middle seat and I was like super concerned about it for a while because um, his seat kind of like hangs off and I was like well I can't do that like it's not safe but then I actually was on like this car seat safety page and actually says that you can have as long as like 80% of your car seats on the seat, it is okay for it to have an overhang. So as long as like the full back is on the seat and all that, so his seat is good. So we're free across, so crazy. Soon we're gonna have a baby in here. That's so crazy. I cannot wait for baby boy to be here. So soon. Um, I'm also going to, while I'm out here, actually just open up the stroller and clean it out because, um, I mean, it's five years old and it's gone through all of my kids. So I'm actually going to open it up and try cleaning it out a little bit. Um, it's like been a while, um, but I had my 36 week appointment today and I got like the GPS swab and everything like that. Everything was fine. Um, she let me do it myself, which is great. I feel like if you have the doctor do it, I feel like they can be a little rough sometimes. Um, and we did a cervical check, I'm only one centimeter dilated. So, uh, I've been telling her about the back contractions that I'm having with the front contractions on my stomach. And she said, it's definitely probably a little bit of, um, early labor, uh, signs which is kind of crazy <laughs> but she's like basically like if i was to go into labor they're not going to stop it because 
at 36 weeks like you're kind of like okay um babies long don't fully develop or not even fully like they're better at 37 but that's why they're considered full term so he would could be considered a preemie if he was born at 36 but i don't think so i mean i'm only one centimeter dilated i think it's just my body getting ready but we talked about it and i'm just like so ready to be done um i am for sure getting induced on 37 weeks so september 7th um which is wild but i'm so ready like i just like i've gained so much weight this pregnancy um i feel like i just retain a lot of fluid when i'm pregnant um and that's kind of like what it is like i am large and in charge like we are 36 weeks um and i'm feeling it but yeah we're pretty much at the end which is crazy one week left crunch time here we go um i've been editing a bunch of videos i'm so upset because i just realized that my freezer mail video that i posted i completely lost the footage of the taco casserole so it didn't even get inputted so i'm really upset I, I got this with my money yeah oh yay um so i'm like so upset that that happened i'm like fudge but it is what it is i mean i'm not gonna stress i lost the footage so i can't even like re-upload it but yeah i've been getting everything ready i rearranged the nursery again um uh, because i ended up putting the rocker downstairs i don't know if i showed you guys that i rearranged our room a little bit too and yeah i'm just pretty much just waiting it's like a waiting game my blood pressure is pretty high today um she's like i'm expecting to see your blood pressure like be at this uh rate which is like one it was like 142 over 95 today it's like i'm kind of expecting to see this number for the next like week she was like but as long as at home it doesn't hit like 160 and over 110 or higher um or like the preeclampsia symptoms like the migraine um the pain in my ribs anything like that that i would go in sooner but as of right now i'm okay to go for my induction on the 7th which is so crazy i'm like i'm holding this <laughs> um i'm just like i'm so i think my next video i'm gonna think i'm gonna film tomorrow is probably gonna be my hospital bag video like what's in my hospital bag because it's pretty much done i just have to like there's a few things i need to throw in it day of which is basically my uh camera charger tablet and kindle um which i'm probably gonna throw in day of just because i get induced at eight o'clock at night so i have like a whole day to put it in there um but yeah i don't know just wanted to update you guys because i realized i was like editing yesterday's video and i was like wait i kind of just stopped talking and that's what i do like i don't i don't know why you guys watch me sometimes because i'm just like a lost cause sometimes but um yeah i'm ready for like postpartum videos who's ready for them because i am i'm ready for like postpartum uh weight loss journey <laughs> i'm ready to like just lose this weight because i am at like 35 pounds i think i've gained so far i think i've gained almost yeah 35 pounds like i think i'm almost at 40. that's a lot of stuff so yeah, I'm not playing with Asher because he's okay. wanting to play. I'm making meatballs and pasta. Hold on. I'm making meatballs, meatballs and pasta. I've made sourdough French bread this morning um, that I started yesterday, but I made it this morning. I didn't finish filming. I'm terrible. Um, um, can I get the doggy, please? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to play with him. Land into the shower, scrubbing off the school jerseys, you know? Um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my night, so... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join the fam. I'll see you in the next one.